Is there another way to secure Ukraine's airspace without a NATO enforced no fly zone? Right? I mean, because the no fly zone means NATO planes shooting down Russian planes. And don't think for a second that Russia is not going to go, oh my gosh, it's a call to war. It's an act of war. And then China's going to get in and, and Iran's going to get in and everybody's going to get in. And it's going to be Kung Fu fighting World War III style. I'm not saying that lightly. Real war fighters pray for diplomacy. Here's the thing. The problem with the way that wars are prosecuted is the people prosecuting them. Because wars, when war is unleashed, it's hell, and it doesn't just change the world. The people who fight it are changed. You know, I really believe that if tyrants are met in war, it should be a zero-sum game. The enemy should be wiped off the earth without apology or preconditions. And anyone left over should be left to suffer in the ashes of their loss. And they should be relegated to fourth world country status and removed from any position of international influence. And that's, that's geopolitics. Wars that are not well prosecuted are wars that drag out and they are lost at great personal cost many times to the superior power. And the United States has inflicted this wound on itself in numerous conflicts. Vietnam... Afghanistan, Iraq. I don't trust the people in Washington, D.C. to be any better than the worst of their ideologues in prosecuting another war. It amazes me how many people on the right went from Biden can't do anything, he's a horrible president, to we sure as hell want to send everyone else's kids over to go fight a war that Biden's going to be the commander of. Wow. You don't want him to lead the country, but you're going to give him the country's most, most prized treasure? The Budapest Memorandum, I wrote about this too, this is four, non-binding agreement. It doesn't say what the people who've never read it think it says. I've written about this. I'm not going to talk anymore about it because it's just not there. I'm not anti-war. Don't get me wrong. I am not anti-war. I am anti-stupidly prosecuted wars. I am anti-disregard for exhaustible options. I am anti-rushing into the uncertain. I'm pro smart responses. I'm, I'm pro exhausting all options. And only after that, I am pro the most overwhelming and terrifying action that would scare a, an opposition's generations, generations of an opposition into submission. And that's the thing. Nobody in D.C. can prosecute one. You got, the ruling class does not have the stomach to make these decisions. Guys, we are in a society where we can't use the phrase master bedroom to talk about real estate. Do you think society has the stomach to go and prosecute a war? They freak out if you use wrong words. There is no political correctness in war. There is no wokery. And we, our leadership and our current status quo completely lack the ability and appetite to be as brutal to tyrants as tyrants require to be put down and that's the truth of it it's brutal war is brutal I you we have rules of engagement we got soldiers out there that have to call an attorney before they can squeeze a trigger operators I mean my, one of my very good friends Marcus Luttrell, everybody's got to make calls and ask permission. I, I was watching Lone Survivor, and I, Marcus, the Luttrells are very dear friends of mine. And people sometimes following the rules is a bad thing. But these are rules that our government, because they want to they prosecute politically correct wars. I would never encourage my or anyone else's kid to go and fight for anyone who wants to prosecute a politically correct war. Wars themselves, by very definition, are politically incorrect. It's a sign of failed diplomacy. It's a sign that we couldn't, we couldn't, our leaders couldn't decide this any other civilized way. So now we got to kill, see who we, whose side we can kill the most and inflict the most damage on. And the idea that you got to politically correct it to virtue signal to make yourself feel better about getting involved in some kind of physical conflict is just absolute pansification. I wouldn't want any rules of engagement. I'm not kidding you. No rules of engagement. Forget, forget any kind of conventions. Go get it done. Peace through strength. The United States doesn't want to dominate the world. They just want to do their own thing. We just want to live and be left the hell alone. Stop saber rattling. Stop having tantrums because you can't take over somebody's country. Stop all this stuff. 
But we just do not have the appetite in this country to do what needs to be done. If you're really going to put a tyrant down, you can't just put a tyrant down. you got to make some very uncomfortable, very non-PC moves that the woke crowd would never be able to accept. Because you got to kill a lot of people. Sucks, but that's geopolitics, that's war. And the people who can't even have that conversation have no business even entertaining the idea of getting close to it. And that includes talking about a no-fly zone. (laughs) 